All right, we're gonna do some prosthetic transfers today. I started putting clay down on my little table here, on this little table piece that I have. Um, this clay is called clean clay we're gonna be using today. And um, I'm gonna do a two bullet holes, I'm gonna do a, kind of an abrasion, and then I'm gonna do just a small cut over here. So I've got my clay, and I'm just gonna lay it out, and then I'll kind of shape it as I go in a minute here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make little silicone molds out of these when they're done. And let's uh, begin. First of all, what I like to do whenever I sculpt a prosthetic transfer and I need it to blend to a table is that I blend it down first onto the table. Um, this one is a little high starting, but that's okay. That's what I like about clay is as you go, you take away and add to and whatever you want to do. So first of all, I like to just kind of blend it down a little bit and then I'll take a little bit of the top away like that to get the clay off my uh, tool I just uh, take a little clay in my hand or you can take your big piece here and just push the clay onto it like this so you can keep going and not have to take too much time pulling it off your tool now that I have it down to a good surface size, and like I say, I'm still probably going to take more away from the edges, but right now I'm concentrating more on the, in, on the, the wound part, not the external skin. So I'm just going to kind of break it up a little bit. See, I just kind of tore it in with this uh, dental tool here. And now I'm going to kind of pull it out a little bit. I just want to try and keep that natural kind of torn look and blown out. And if you, know, you know, if you need to add a little more clay to it, you can. If you want to uh, kind of take it out a little bit further on one side, you know, I mean, flesh actually tears irregular, you know, depending on where the strong and weak points are. There we go. I think that looks pretty cool. And now I'm going to dissolve this down a little bit with some naphtha in a minute. But first of all, what I want to do is I want to now take down the surface that's going to be next to the skin. Because it's, I remember I built up a big mound here. So now I'm going to take this down just a little bit more just to kind of blend it into the skin. And that also allows me to to take a little bit of this edge away so this diameter is smaller. So I'm going to just come in here like this and just pull a little bit more of this uh, clay out right here. I'm going to take away quite a bit of clay here. This is how much I'm taking away now. And you can see it's the thickness. It's still a little thick so I have some room to blend now. Now I can either take my tool or my finger and just push that edge back down into the table. Give myself a good feathered edge. Okay, now I'm going to take my naphtha here and I'm going to go ahead and try and tone this down just a little bit. If you want to leave it up like that, you can. You can. You don't need to use naphtha. You can also, if you don't have naphtha, you can use alcohol. It doesn't dissolve as fast, but it still does a really nice job. And then I'm going to also take it onto this fleshy area here because I want to get all of my tool lines out. Okay, so I'm just running it along here just to get all my tool lines out. And also, I'll go ahead and clean all that excess clay off too because I want this super smooth and runs right into the table so that I have a nice feathered edge to deal with and don't have to worry about fixing my my edges while I'm applying the piece. I want to be able to put that piece on and that edge is just blends right into the skin. That is my ultimate goal when I make a prosthetic transfer. And if you want you can stop right here and um, Finish your sculpt right there if you want, but I'm going to actually add a little bit of a 
clay to the inside here because I want it to be meaty. If you don't want to add clay to this internal area here, you can actually um, use like oatmeal or, or something to give it that kind of rough texture. But I'm just adding a little bit of clay because I'm going to chew it up inside here with my dental tool. All I'm going to do is swirl it like this. And that swirling there breaks up the clay and, and makes it irregular and kind of bumpy. And, and then when I add my naphtha to that, it smooths it out and it looks like kind of a meaty, rough surface inside. So here I am just, so I'm just churning it around a little bit. And if you want, you can add a little more to it. You know, give it a, like a clump of meat inside there just sitting by itself here. I'll take my naphtha. And I'm not going to paint it on. I'm actually just going to kind of stipple it on like this. What that does is it just takes all those little fine lines and just makes them a little bit more chewy than, than uh, rough bumpy. Just subtly taking down all the little lines that I made. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. As you can see, it didn't take very long to do. As you can see, my uh, flesh line surface is really close to the skin. You can actually bring this up if you want and fold it over like it blew out. Um, I just, I'm leaving it close to the skin. Now I'm going to go ahead and start my, uh, my other bullet hole. <laughs>